Hi folks and welcome to another video on Pixel. In this video I'm going to look at the commands. So the first command is backward. Pixel moves a user-defined distance backward and we've got the Python code here. So for this first command I'll show you in detail how to do it in Blockly and Python and send it to the code activator but for the other ones uh, I, I won't go in detail like that I'll just show you that first one as an example so this is what it looks like in the blockly we've got the backward block and then we've chosen slow you can choose slow or fast and we've put in six for the number of inches and inches is selected and this is what it looks like in the python code we've always got to put these two lines at the top from pixel import pixel pixel equals pixel those have got to be at the top on any code that is written for pixel and then we've got our line of code on row four so it starts pixel because all the lines of code have to start pixel dot and then we've got backward for the command and then in brackets we've got six for the distance and then we've got a comma and the next digit zero that equals slow presumably one is what equals fast and the last digit just means inches so presumably you can select one for centimeters i don't know but that just means inches and then i press send i could have just pressed run for it to run on the pixel but because i'm recording with my ipad i needed to put it on the code activator to show you and film it so when you press send uh, you're asked to name your code so i just called it backward and then i moved it from the code stack that it's automatically put in and i moved it to button one on the code activator so that i can show this code when i press one on the code activator so now i can press one and we'll get pixel to execute the code and there it's gone back so can i press the same button again yeah yeah and, press uh, one and it'll do the same execute the same piece of code right okay i think he'd move backwards better if he was stood up okay you can move these legs manually can't can you? you paul okay no i thought you told me that you oh could. did i <laughs> i might have done yeah well i've just done it let's try it again then so You've got to do it above his head. Above the head, yeah. Yeah, he moved better, didn't he? Yeah. That seems to be quite precise, six inches, doesn't it? I wonder what he uses to measure that. I don't know, they keep it a bit hidden, don't they? Yeah, yeah Pixel's not really about the hardware, it's more about the programming, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't get to explore the hardware as such. So the next command is chase tail. Chase's wagging tail in a circle a user-defined direction. Mm -hmm. So the Python code is pixel dot chase tail and then it's got a one in brackets. So that one will either mean right or left. Okay, so what one means right and another number means left? Well, if you execute the code, we'll find out which okay. way you go. So we'll find out what one is. So what am I pressing on here now? Two. Two. So and that executes that code, so we'll find out what one is. So he's going clockwise, so that's... Uh, clockwise, so that's to his left, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So basically, if you put one, it goes clockwise. Okay, I'll try and get that again. So he does two full circles. Oh, no, he's doing no, two and a half. Two and a half mm. and wags his tail. Yeah. Yeah, we had a discussion this morning about how I, I wanted to know how do you find out 
you know, which number is assigned to right, which number is assigned to left. And you said, well, you just got to experiment. But it's not going to tell you, you've got to experiment, yeah. 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 So, but what I will do, folks, is in the future, I'm going to find out what numbers are assigned to colours and directions, and I'm going to make a um, sheet mm, and have good, them good all idea. written down, so you don't have, to, so other people don't have to experiment to yeah, find out. Yeah, be a good idea. So the next command is dance. Pixel shows off its dance moves. And the Python code is just pixel dot dance, right? So. And then two brackets mm -hmm. with nothing inside it because you've always put got to put brackets, even if you're not sort of choosing okay. a variable, whether mm. that be color or direction or whatever. So I'll press number three on the code activator. I'm just gonna have a dance. Mm. Disco lights as well. So because there's no number, I suppose it always means it's the same dance, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Nicely faded out there. Mm. So the next command is eyes. Una defines pixels emotion for one or both eyes. And Python code is pixel dot eyes three two okay that's on code activated button four then is it you yeah it on? and this is what happens okay i'm going to press four now yeah you've already pressed it Have I? you get this sort of like you've got four lines of the leds mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and it's sort of going down one line at a time i don't know what that's supposed to denote um i'd have more idea Maybe if I did it in the block layer, I'm not mm. sure what that was supposed to mean. A, a given mean a certain emotion, like sleepy, maybe or something like that. Yeah. So I press again. again I'm going to go through all of these in my own time and make yeah. future videos where I show all the eye expressions and okay. what numbers they're assigned. Pixel dot eyes brackets three comma two. So what does the three and the two mean? Um. Well, the three. Believe the three will be the sequence of movements of the LEDs. Yes, yeah, so like if it's, it's supposed to be had happy, sad, or whatever. Right, okay. And two will mean. And two will be both eyes because both eyes. both eyes do it. So two equals both eyes. Right. Okay. But as I say, folks, I will be going into more detail in the future, finding out what numbers are assigned for yeah. colours okay. and eye sequences yeah, this, and this all sequence, those things. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is forward. Moves a user-defined distance forward. And we've got the Python code there, pixel forward. So the six... It's six inches, is, is it? It's six inches. And then zero. the zero means slow. Slow, yeah. And the other zero is, is just... A, Inches rather than centimetres. Right, okay, the units is in. So if I'm units that's... in, yeah. We're on five now, aren't we? Yes. Okay, so it should be six inches, should it? Mm. And let's try that again. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to measure that with a tape measure and see if it is six inches. We right? will do that in the future. Mm. We'll see how accurate it is. Mm. So the next command is lights. User defines colour of light and where on the body that colour glows. And the Python code it's given as an example is pixel dot lights, and then we've got one three. Mm -hmm. So I think three refers to the which lights. So yeah. three is all, I believe. <gasps> okay. Uh, one is the color, color. which right. I believe is blue. Is one. Okay. So that's number six. Number six. Okay, on the code activator. Here we go then. Yeah, blue or blue all and lights. it's all lights. Okay. And how long does it stay on for? It'll stay on sort of permanently because there's nothing in the code to, to switch it, it off. off. Right, you just turn them on. Yeah. Not, yeah, okay. The next command is light show. LED rainbow light show. And the code is pixel dot light show 
and then just two brackets with nothing inside. So that's number one. Number one on the code activator. Mm, they're cycling through. Nice. So when you press the code activator button, I noticed you had to be right over the top of Pixel and mm -hmm. you can't just use it like a remote control. From yeah, the I think it okay. did say that somewhere in the questions that okay. about using the code activator, it's got to be over its head. So if I press that again, it should cycle through again. And it is doing quite nice. Mm. Be nice to have that on the loop. <laughs> <laughs> and the last command we're going to look at in this video is listen. Listens for user-defined number of claps must start from no more than two feet above pixel. So the code example code has got is if pixel dot listen one. Mm -hmm. Um. So. We presumed it was one clap, but before I say anything else about this, yeah, uh, I wrote this code and sent it to the dog, and it didn't do anything. <laughs> no, because of course it's saying if Pixel listen. Yeah, it's a conditional, isn't it? So it's not telling it what to do. Yeah. Well, you didn't. You're telling it to do nothing. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, do nothing. Yeah. Um. So what I did was I added wag. Right. Okay. So um, we've got this number one, so we presume that's one clap. Okay. So on the code activator, it's number two. Number two. So it's now listening, but it won't pick my voice up because it's got to be quite loud. Yeah, it's got to be loud. Hey! It's worked. Okay. And... That's the code ended. If I wanted that to repeat again because it's not on a loop, I would have to press... Uh, two again. Two again. Mm. It's worked. Good. So that's it for this video, folks. Run out of time again. The next video I do, I'll go through some more commands. So there's mouth, pee, proximity, scoot, shake, sit, sound, stand up. There's quite a lot yet. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do in the next video. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.